Okay, so now we're in the 3.3, which talks about Lamy's theorem. And what we have are three forces, and we've got a particle in equilibrium right here, and they're being, it's being pulled by three forces, but it's in equilibrium. But we don't, we're unable to resolve it using parallel and perpendicular lines. So we have to go a different route. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a triangle and use either the sine or the cosine rule depending on the circumstances. So I'm gonna move the 11 up here. So this is eight newtons. I'm gonna keep that the same. And now we've got 11 newtons up here. 11 newtons, and then I've got 12 newtons here. So I'm gonna move the 12 newtons over here. Okay, so I'm gonna label between the eight and the 11 is theta, this. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that theta. And between the 12 and the eight, between the 12 and the eight is phi. And that's an ugly looking phi, but I think you know what I mean. And then here, this angle, angle's on a line, so 180 minus theta and this is 180 minus phi. And then we can start resolving this. And we can look at these two formulas and we can determine which one we wanna use, whether it's gonna be the sine rule or the cosine rule. Okay, so I've got the sine rule and the cosine rule written out here. So hopefully you're, you remember, but we look and this is a, a side measure and these are angle measures, and we don't have any angle measures. So we know from there we have to use the cosine rule. So we're gonna solve it using the cosine rule. Okay, so here's the formula. I just put in the values. I, I used 12 to be C, and I'm sorry if it got a little sloppy. Uh, so um, then we just solve it for theta. That's supposed to be theta. I know it looks ugly and we're gonna see what we get. Okay, so we do a lot of trigonometry and we find out that theta is equal to 103.5. Okay, and to find phi, you go through the same process. So this time you would go through 11 squared is equal to, 11 squared is equal to 12 squared plus eight squared minus two, eight, 12, cosine of 180 minus phi. And if you do that, you're gonna get the same solution. Now, and then you get 116.9 degrees. And that's how you resolve these angles. It's not easy, it takes practice.